Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for this absolutely beautiful 2017 Volkswagen Touareg R Line Plus. Uh, this particular car is finished in moonlight blue. Um, it has a fantastic uh, level of specification on the car uh, and is in absolutely beautiful condition all the way around. Only covered 35,000 miles from new. Uh, full service history all the way through and uh, I'll sort of talk you through some of the features that this particular car's got uh, some of the additional extras that you get on the R-Line Plus model uh, and just sort of point out any small imperfections although I don't think that'll take me too long um, as the car really is in exceptional condition. Uh, under the bonnet is the 262 horsepower turbo diesel six cylinder engine as I mentioned full service history all beautifully clean under the bonnet. Um, in terms of uh, bodywork it is exceptional. You're obviously going to get the odd tiny little stone chip uh, here and there, although, I'm, like I said, I am actually struggling to, to find anything um, too obvious on here. It really has been extremely well looked after and obviously has done genuine low mileage as well. All of the chrome and everything around the front of the car is in good condition. Sometimes can suffer a little bit with getting mottled and things like that um, through, uh, through use, but um, it really is absolutely lovely. All four alloy wheels are completely unmarked, have recently been powder coated uh, following full acid dip and strips and everything like that as well uh, all the mirror housing and everything like that all in perfect condition no dents to uh, to notice either rear bumper completely free of any marks again normally you see little dents and things like that on the um, on the chrome strips here but absolutely nothing is absolutely wonderful and just to come down the passenger side as well. I won't show you each individual wheel because so they've just all been, been done. So they're all very, very good. You've got brand new Scorpion Verde tires there on the front and I think the back as well. Yeah, it's pretty much brand new tires all the way around. So absolutely nothing for the new owners to do anytime soon. We have an electric tailgate on the car. That can be operated from the key, from a button on the inside of the car, or also from the soft touch button on the back. Uh, it's been protected with a uh, really nice uh, rubber load cover, and we also have a set of uh, passenger footwell mats as well um, for the new owner as well. Uh, across on here, we've got the, the uh, button here for the deployable tow bar. You just simply press the button on the side, and the tow bar appears and locks into place a lot easier than messing around with removable tow bars. You've got the newer style electric socket on there and then simply to put it away just press the button again and you can either just do it with your hand or actually kick it with your foot as well um, but uh, yeah very very nice to have obviously the car then also comes with the upgraded fan systems um, for uh, for towing stronger loads as well inside this beautiful corn silk napper leather um, one of the nicest interiors you can get on here it is absolutely beautiful uh, lovely soft leather stitching all the way around, matching seat belts, all in absolutely perfect condition. There's no kick marks to the backs of the seats or anything like that at all. Absolutely fabulous. And we also have the uh, door blinds here that are integrated into the doors for the rear passengers. The car does have privacy glass at the back, but again, it's just a, a nice feature to have when they're all integrated like that as well. So that's an industri another additional extra storage nets on the backs of the seats and obviously the beautiful full-length panoramic roof which when you're sat in the back of the car you get a full view of it all the way through absolutely lovely You've got rear vents there for the rear passengers Oh, just show you while we're here. It's a fully keyless entry system. Uh, so to lock the car, simply press your thumb on the, the pressure point that uh, each of the doors has got, and that will lock the car. To get back into it, just simply put your hand on the door handle and just get into the car, and it will recognize that the key's on you. It's either in your pocket or in your bag or something like that. Um, we've got additional upgrades with the Memory Plus system. So we have uh, electrically operated seats, which is standard to the R-Line Plus, um, but also been upgraded with the full memory package as well. So we have three-stage memory for the driver and for the passenger um, and then we also have an electronic steering column uh, you can just see the control for that there as well with the easy exit function so this, the steering wheel moves out of your way when it does that uh, so that's the top of the range sort of setup for for the seats we've also got electric lumbar support there on the side and um, the seats themselves absolutely beautiful next to nowhere at all 
despite the light colour. And we also have these fantastic uh, headrests as well, which you can bring forward. So if you don't want to lean your head to back too far, um, you can slide them back as well. And you've got that on for both the driver and the passenger as well. Lovely leather, three spoke, R design steering wheel. Automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers. Lovely chrome pedals in there. And then piano black inlays, which complement the leather really well. And you may spot, it's very subtle, there's a line that runs across here. This is actually part of the internal lighting package. So again, not all of the uh, R lines or R line pluses have this as an option. This is um, sort of ambient lighting. Very difficult to show, obviously, on a beautiful day like today. Um, but yes, they, these all light up um, for, for colour at night as well. Uh, and again, just finish off the, the whole sort of level of the interior. So yeah, absolutely lovely specification. Jumping in. A lot of the other bits and pieces are relatively sort of standard spec. Obviously continuing with the keyless start and stop there. To bring the engine into life, 35,366 miles on the clock. Um, we've got an additional driver's information system up here in colour with a digital speedometer and also additional menus and things like that um, for setting things up. Uh, you can display your tyre pressures, satellite navigation instructions and, and uh, other, other bits and pieces. Uh, we have a pedal shift uh, control for the, for the gearbox on the steering wheel. And then all of your multifunction controls and voice controls, uh, answering the telephone, putting it down, that sort of stuff, um, all there, all across there on the steering wheel. Drop to here, we can change the car into off-road mode or remain it in uh, in on-road mode. Uh, auto hill hold and electric handbrake as well. Up to here, dual zone climate control, so separate temperatures for driver and passenger. You can also make sort of uh, additional changes here through the through the main screen uh, but the nice thing is you've still got physical knobs and buttons and things like that to push when you want to uh, to activate the heated screens and um, and bits and pieces like that as well so it works very very well three stage heated seats for the front occupants and also um, the heated steering wheel can be activated from the button on the dash or, or on the screen there as well um, so quite a nice uh, feature for winter uh, radio DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM stations we also have Bluetooth media streaming um, and, uh, and a, a CD player which is actually located in here not a lot of people know that but pop that down and you have a CD player and also SD card readers and things like that that drop down from there in the glove box um, if you're still using a uh, an external device like an iPod or something, you've got a little storage compartment for it there as well. All your books and manuals and everything come with the car and it's also should be a chilled glove box as well so the air conditioning can actually keep uh, drinks and things cold in the glove box which is another nice feature. Um, the panoramic roof is a tilt and slide system so you can tilt it up like that or open it fully which is fantastic and then we also have an electric blind which you operate with this front button here which will come across again quite heavy tint to the um, to the screen at the top there um, but the uh, the blind just does a little bit more as well aside from the media we also have your full satellite navigation here as well for Western Europe uh, with uh, three-dimensional or two-dimensional views again really lovely and easy to use takes full postcodes and everything like that as well uh, you've also got uh, full traffic reports that can come up when you're subscribed to that uh, through to the car system we have a full sort of control panel for the car um, this is where you can set up things like your um, background lighting and things that I mentioned before um, and uh, we also have all of the uh, dynamic cornering lights and everything as well. Uh, if you're tra traveling uh, to Europe and, and going to be driving on the right hand side of the road you can simply tick this box here and the headlights will adjust uh, straight across so you don't have to use things like beam benders or, or anything like that as well so that, that's a, a fantastic option when you're um, when you're driving on the continent. Um, further sort of set up bits and pieces from in, from in there um, obviously I won't go through all of them but you've got uh, a number of, of different items in there um, and uh, you can set how much the load is that you've got um, if you're towing a, a heavy trailer or something like that you can change it so that the tyre pressure monitors update with it and everything like that as well um, assist systems full parking sensors front and rear uh, we also have surround cameras uh, so that's just showing the uh, the rear camera at the moment with the uh, the guidance lines there that come in there but you can also change to the front camera which has got sort of fisheye lenses um, for looking out uh, at junctions uh, we also have side ones so you can actually see the wheels 
so when you're parking you don't get too close to the curb so full surround sound, uh, surround camera system uh, what else have we got servicing screen will show you what needs to be done next and that is an oil change in 8,900 miles time or 337 days so recently been done uh, and then a larger inspection service in um, just coming up to two years or 18,300 miles as well and you can uh, the car's got a digital dipstick so you can, you're able to uh, go on there and see uh, the current oil level once the car has warmed up and you're on flat land um, I think that's pretty much it for the inside um, like I said just having a quick look through it, I mean it, there's just nothing to point out to you um, in terms of where or anything it is exceptional in here absolutely beautiful it's such an elegant cabin really nicely finished off you get the dual opening uh, storage box in the middle which a lot of people like so independent armrests and everything like that there as well um, but yeah no, it's a it's a very 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 nice elegant cabin Hope you found this video useful. Uh, we're going to help with any further information if you require any close-ups uh, or if you have any uh, part exchange to, to value or any finance figures that you would like, then please do contact us through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help. We'd obviously love to be able to show you the car in person. It's an absolutely stunning example, uh, getting very, very hard to find now with, uh, with genuine low mileage and in this sort of condition. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.